So real brief, this is on a lockout. The other day, I made a video, two videos. I deleted them accidentally. I'm getting back into it right now. On the lockout, Rikers Island. Why inmates cannot wear civilian clothing anymore? Now, before you was able to rock your regular clothes, it was lit, you in the building, ah, ah, ah. Friday nights came, dudes is uh, getting ready, getting dressed, never to impress the next man, but just because it makes you feel good as a person. There's people that <clears throat> was really out there running the streets, now they showered up, they able to change, they looking, feeling good, they got their weight up, can't blame them. That's what it's about, right? You no longer have to live that way. You know what I mean? It's like, water's free, soap was on me. Uh, so with that being said, one of the main reasons I'm thinking, leave in the comments how you feel about it. I answer back all comments. So I think, and I and this happened a few times on Rikers Island, the inmates would have regular clothing and find a way to just bounce some way, somehow, and not be recognized in civilian clothing. A lot made not might have not made it far but the attempt was there you understand what i'm saying and it's kind of a security risk they feel the correctional department so they was dying to do away with that but nobody really thinks about the inmates state of mind you didn't feel you always felt like you're doing time you're locked up you're in jail fine granted we know that Done that, been there. Nothing to glorify, be happy about. Never that. Jail is for the birds. Not even the birds deserve to be locked up. They deserve to be free the way the Almighty Father was meant for them to be. Facts. So, it's just like you didn't really feel too much like, look, like now you definitely feel like you're in jail. Here's your jumper, boom. Put that on. It's a wrap. You got to jump on. You feeling like shit you seen on TV now. Especially imagine the mindset of a dude who's his first time arrested. This is the part where I might thinking is, you know why put this jump on? You guilty anyway. You know why I look like what the whatever they said a, a, a jail a inmate to look like with a jumper. You know, you see it all over the TVs. Although jail is way different from what you see in the TVs, that part right there just hits like boom, damn, I'm locked up. You know, and I know you're supposed to feel, some people are going to be like, oh, you're supposed to feel like you locked up. Well, you want to, you know, it's not a hotel. Huh? I get it. But from going from wearing your regular clothes, if you was there and you're still there now during the jumper, listen, it's just a crazy feeling, you know. And I've went back and I went back recently. I just don't tell people all my business. It's a fact. What I'm saying is this. They give you a jumper, you put on your jumper like nothing. They tell you from now on you're wearing jumpers. You give in like nothing. And I'm not saying flip, start doing this, start doing... I'm just saying like there's other ways to to fight back, to voice your opinion, to, you know, to suggest that. Like, look, this is going to start this in the jersey. You know how hard people before before us fought? So that you could probably wear your own clothing so that you can get commissary so that you can go upstate and get 35 pounds of whatever's happening or whatever it is right now. So you can get phone calls so you can. Those gang gangs that people be putting down so much on Rikers Island. Even the Bloods, even the Crips, Padia, Latin Kings, Nietas, Luis Felipe. They fought. For a lot of things that people have now, especially for Spanish people, with all respects to everybody. Because you really had to put in that work when the phones were direct. I was there. Facts. And all the people that put down gang gang, everything is not all bad in life. Because a lot of things that a lot of Spanish people are able to do today. Is because people put in work in those jails before you came in. 
so that you're not bullied or picked on. Because before it was from the gate. Now it's like, mm, he might be down with this. He might be down with that. So it saves buns. Facts. But people be like, yo, I wasn't down with this. I came home. Listen, you was hanging out with them. It's the same thing. That's why people left you alone. But with that being said, you know, I start thinking about something else and I'm all over the place with it. This, That's what happens here. Facts. We just having a good time, conversation at the same time I'm telling a story. And something that's really going on in life or the news of the show. Facts. So my whole thing is this. The state of mind and what people fought for before us, people that was getting locked up before us and how we just let them take things away from us. You know, you you was able to get, uh, let's say, shampoo from the street. That got that is soap. That was that in certain buildings, like when I was there. And I know that the inmate always does sign a cause this, like try to sneak in this and there, that and there. But they almost taking everything from us. Like you can't even smoke no more on the island. I understand they dead it smoking in every building, this and that. But as soon as you go up north, you smoke You smoke in the wreck. You could put your cigarette on the wall and the lighter's in there. You know, whoever's been up top, you know, when you do be like, yo, homie, you got a light? Nah, right there. You know, and you put the cigarette in the, whatever you call that thing, is on the, on the wall, in the, in the bricks. You know what I mean, man. So for those that been there, <laughs> I forgot the name of it, but whatever. Uh... They could have put it that way on the island where you could smoke, but when you go outside for wreck. But then again, they don't want us going outside for wreck. They call it like on the wreck. And then be like, we called wreck. You know what I mean? So leave in the comments if you know about that. On the wreck. Bro, nobody heard that. You understand? But I just feel like as inmates, they just letting them take away everything. Things have changed. Times have changed. It's different years. Years go by. Some people don't got the fight in them no more. Oh, they don't even know what they fighting for. Because there's no uh, structure that has that type of mentality that when we say we're going to uplift the people, our people, or all people as a whole, the type of uplifting they talking about is banging on the next man that looks just like him. Hurting your own people, hurt people, hurt people. But at the same token, if nothing changes, nothing changes. So everything remains the same around your surroundings because you're not changing. You're getting worse. Therefore, your environment, your surroundings are going to get worse. I don't know if you get what I'm saying or I'm just talking too much. Maybe I'm tired. I haven't slept. I've been up thinking because I'm human. This is on the lockout, man. Leave in the comments how you feel about all this and why you think inmates no longer could wear regular clothes on the island. Of course, it starts drama, beefs, a lot of fights. People want to take your clothes. People want your sneakers because dudes, you know, that's the way they live. You know what I mean? I wasn't no angel on the island, but we grow now and I think differently. You know what I'm saying? We say we start movements for our people and to empower our people and uplift our people. So why when that man goes into jail, if he's of your nationality or whatever, if he's, he's just a human, why does he need to get robbed or try to be tested to be, or you know, like, like they're going to take something from him if he's your people's? And your movement is to uplift your people. That's not uplifting your peoples. That's destroying your own people. This is on the lockout, man. I'm just talking too much. I'm, I, I, I don't know what I'm saying. Thank you for watching. I love you, bro. And that's a fact. Watch us. Yeah, we're gonna start our fight and, and work, work our, our way, way up. up. You can trust us. We are from the Bronx. The safe part. 161. By the priest. Trust me, ladies and gentlemen, we're not gangsters anymore. We're snitches. Yeah. He's just joking. We don't do that either. Be quick. Watch us before you judge us. And we also have big men on the side. Feel free to pull out phones and record. device is connecting us successfully. Feel free to pull out the phones and record.